Welcome back to make way for cat. Oh, tiger. It's Golden Grove Day, so we're gonna head on over and see where that big old cat ended up. Okay, so we are going south of us. Should be a giant log that we can go down. Yep, I see it. It's on the back side of this mountain. Wait, have I found you yet? I'm still missing like one or two animals in this area. Here we go. Oh, there's one right off the bat. Oh, you're cute. Little tabby. Electra von Snuggly Butts. Interesting. Mount. Okay. We have two houses. I'm going to go across the back here first. Oh, there's a big old bear. Oh! Here's where the big fuzzy cat ended up. Right in front of the next area. Oh, the fur. Looks like a giant stuffed animal. Both entrances to the witching woods are sealed. Ask around the golden ask around the golden grove for more information. Uh, jump. There we go. Oh, it's a big dog. Oh, a mouse? Daisy, squeak! Oh, sorry, you startled me. I don't get many visitors here in the deep woods, let alone a new person. My name is Daisy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so many nice things about the cat cafe, but I've never been there myself. I have nothing against cats, but um, something about them makes me a bit uneasy. Witching Woods? You saw the giant scary cat too, right? It wasn't just my imagination? Oh dear. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to help you. The world is so big and I am so small. I mean the cat is so big, that is. Rosa is the only one that lives in the Witching Woods, but there's no way for us to contact her with the cat in the way. Rosa's sister Autumn used to live in the Witching Woods, but she moved to Heart Village. Perhaps she can help you. Cool. There's Daisy. Oh, a wild boar. Another cat. Penny! Oh, you're cute. That's just a cliff edge, can't go any further. So we are... Okay, we're way down here, so we need to go up into the center of the woods. Oh, a fox! <gasps> Ooh, a fox! Facsimile. That's funny. 
Oh, and the bridge. Oh, I guess the bridge is automatically fixed once we get over here. Okay. A deer? Gabby, next week is Mr. Bear's birthday. I make birthday presents for every animal in the Golden Grove. Always remember to make animal presents out of edible materials, though. Oh, wait, you're not an animal, are you? Either way, my name is Gabby. It's nice to meet you. So we've met the people of here. And how many animals do we have? Just missing one. Country Oinks. Murphy Penny. Foximily Mr. Bear. I suppose we should talk to her and see if she needs any help with anything. Need anything? You're good with animals, right? Can I ask you for some help? I've been feeling a little overwhelmed having just moved here. I need something to help with the stress. I decided I want to get a pet. I'd love to have a furry friend to look after and play with. It's the best. I can't decide. I think I want to start with a dog, but I can't decide on the breed. There's too many choices. Big dog, little dog? I feel like I will know it when I see it, you know? Maybe something fluffy with a curly tail. Okay, if I see a dog looking for some love, I'll bring it by. Fluffy with a curly tail. I don't think I've seen a dog matching that description yet. Here's Mr. Bear. So we are in the middle here. Oh, a deer. There it is, last one. Come here, come here, come here. Wee. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so that's all the animals here. Let's go talk to the mouse down here and see if she needs anything as well. Oh, she's not here. Oh, she's over here. There we go. Need anything? I was just collecting some berries, see? These pinkish ones are in season right now. They're bitter to eat, but good for making tea. Uh, so, how's the cat cafe? It's great. I'm sorry, I haven't come to say hello. I don't get out much. I was just thinking about how I should get out more, but I don't know. The cat cafe sounds lovely. Sometimes Jin brings me baked goods from there, and we have a picnic in the woods and share them. I'd love to come myself, but, I mean, um, no offense, but it's, um, it's the cats. I wish I could get over it, but their teeth and claws, so sharp. And their eyes, like they're looking into another dimension. The cats in the cafe are very gentle. I believe you, and since I'm a mouse-based magical girl, not a real mouse, I know I'm not in danger of actually being eaten. But every time I see one, I just want to run away. I guess it's an instinct. It's pathetic, I know. What would help you get over it? Spend some more time around cats, I would get used to them. But I also don't leave the woods much, and kind of nervous town so coming to the cafe to meet cats just seems really hard what if i introduced you to a cat a really gentle one you do that it might work but what if i freak out then i'll leave right away but if you would be so great if it would be so great if you felt comfortable to come to the cafe okay We need to go talk to
I didn't even check to see if she was here. Oh, she is. Uh, Witching Woods. Ah, the wonderful Witching Woods. Yes, I used to live there. It's a beautiful place, overflowing with chaotic, magical energy. Living there can be a bit exhausting, though, which is why I scooped up my house in a magic bottle and moved it here. My sister Rosa still lives there. Oh, I miss her. I should visit soon. How do we get in? Well, there's a tree door in the north, but that's usually sealed to keep the magics from getting out. And the only one who can open it right now is Rosa, who is currently on the other side of the door. Oh, but I heard you cleared the way to Golden Grove recently. There's another entrance to the Witching Woods from there. Giant sleeping cat. Aw, oh, beans. That giant cat has been a real nuisance lately. We should probably figure out what it's doing here. A kitty that size could have only come from the Witching Woods, and now it can't decide if it wants to go in or out. <laughs> what do you think it wants? Um, to eat? It's been on its own outside the Witching Woods for a while now. It must be starving. But a cat like that won't be satisfied with dry food. No, not even the fancy wet food will do. Uh, feeding off magical energy in the Witching Woods, so we need to cook up a magical energy feast. We'll get a big plush mousy and infuse it with all the magic we can get our hands on. Giant kitty will require giant magic, though. Way more than I can do by myself. This island is full of people that can help us out, though. Just take the mousy to each of them, to each of the witches, and have them imbue it with some of their own brand of magical energy. I'll start it off with a dash of Autumn's patented magic juice. Don't worry, it doesn't smell that much. Oh, all the witches. Estelle, Ash, Lumi. Estelle and Jin. Okay. So we have... Looks like Ash and Estelle are in town. Oh, this is the back side of the mountain again. Lumi, I think, is the girl in white up on the mountain. You don't have a curly tail. Oh yeah, we don't need a bridge, do we? Yeah, we do. Uh, are we just stuck in the water now? Oh, okay. Oh wait, Lumi is at our cafe. That means we don't have to run up the mountain. Oh, it's Freya. I miss her. I'm feeling guilty about not getting out to visit her. I think Maya's sitting next to you. Might be able to help out. I can't get out to see her right now, but I wanted to ask if you could deliver her some fresh baked donuts from your cafe. They are her absolute favorite, would you mind? No problem. Is it I'd like to see one there? Oh, I don't- I don't really like pigs. Okay. She wants to see a pig. I need to make donuts? Hold on, let's take a look at the quest to make sure I'm doing this right. Yappy wants to adopt a dog. Scaredy mouse. Make donuts. I think I have the recipe. I think. I do. Oh, I missed through the yeast. And the... I lose the egg? No, the egg's in there. Oil. Vanilla. Oh. Perfect. Oop. Oh, 
talk to Maya. Talk to you about something. Special delivery from Freya. Donuts, that's so sweet. I don't know what I did to deserve that, girl. Next time you head up to see Freya, could you bring her some cookies? It's her favorite. I can do that. I mean, glad they're both right here. Okay, so I need this. Make cookies. Flour, sugar, egg, is this chocolate? Oh, it's tea. Right, tea, it is. Butter, chocolate, there it is. And vanilla. Oh, look at the cute little cookie. How'd it go? Maya wanted you to have this. Cookies, oh my gosh. It's fantastic. Oh, that's so sweet of her. And you. And the cookies. Sorry, I just really love cookies. I'm gonna go enjoy this right now. Alright, enjoy your cookies. Oh, cool. That's Kiva. Okay, good. They're both right here. Uh, Magic Mousy? A giant cat, you say? How exciting. Of course, dear, I can lend you a bit of my magic. It may be a bit old-fashioned, but it gets the job done. Magic Mousy. You need a magic mouse to trick a giant cat? Say no more, I got you. I'll add a bit of my spooky magic in, the, in case the cat likes it spicy. Okay. Oh, sorry. Now we need Lumi... And Jin. Jin's down here. Lumi's still on top of the mountain. Oh, hey, he's down here. Oliver, what's for sale? Ornate recipe. We'll take that. Toby and Oliver plush. Okay. Do you need anything? Oh, come on. Okay, I give up. We need... I believe Zen is up here. Yep, there she is. Wait, is this a cat cat? Have I picked you up? Oh, it is. It's Mary. Aww. Okay, Magic Mousy, a giant kitty, and you want to scare it away? I want to help it get home. Oh, well, I've been meaning to visit the Witching Woods again. I'll hug the giant kitty when I get there, I guess. Anyway, here's some magic for you, but I put extra hug powder into all my magic. Oh, good. Char's not, like, running away this time. And we are just missing Lumi, who's up on the mountain, which there is a path up the mountain from the city.
got really quiet. Oh, my giant, uh, snow cat is gone, finally. Oh, you know what? I think the animal I'm missing up here, I think there's more than one of the big capybaras up in the um, hot spring. Am I going the right way? Yes. It is starting to get a bit dark. No pulse back. Please tell me she's here. Oh, Fluffy with a curly tail. I found it. Yukiko. Oh, yeah, it's a Shiba. But doesn't she belong? Let's see if I pick up both of these. Brendo. And Captain something or other. Yeah, there we go. I was missing one of these guys. A magic mouse. Oh, this is a fortunate ti this is fortunate timing. I made some catnip scented bath bombs and everything I own, including my magic smells like catnip at the moment. Oh, I've never seen so much magic in one object. Looks like it's ready to go. Excellent. And Please tell me I can Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing this. Uh, I don't know what way I'm going. This does not appear to be the way. I need to go this way. Oh, there's the bridge. Perfect. Okay, so I need to bring this to Autumn. Oh, put that back on my head. Oh no, I have to bring the magic mouse to the giant cat. So I don't have to bring it back to Autumn. Perfect. Oh, I'm like, what? What is red? The laser pointer is still a thing. That's funny. A little creepy, though. Okay, so I'm looking for... He's right here. Oh. Wait. Just saw her. She's moving. Where are you? There you are. I did the thing. How about this dog? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? My heart just broke. This dog is too cute. I love them so much. What kind of breed are they? A Japanese Spitz. This is the perfect doggy. Thank you so much. Cool. Oh, look at your eyes glow in there. Okay, so we need to get out to this way.
Mr. Bear. There's our giant kitty. Okay. Is there no prompt? Quests. Scaredy Witching Woods. Bring the magical mousie to the giant cat in Golden Grove. It's not in my inventory, is it? It is. Okay. Nope. I need to set it. No. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's moving. Oh! Not digging the tree block in the way, but... Oh, that's technically the end of the game? We haven't even seen Witching Woods yet. Look at that cat. Awesome. But this is where I'm going to end the episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.